Are you going to post this? Do I need, I need to like not worry about this? Y'all ready to get nasty? I said, are y'all ready to get nasty? Uh, I don't like condoms, I don't think anybody does, but sometimes I wear the ring ones because horizontal stripes make you look fat. <laughs> um, Yell into that shit. All right. Uh, I'm rocking this jacket. I got it from my neighbor's estate sale. Uh, a couple months ago, I was like, Hank, that's a nice jacket. Can I have it? And he goes, over my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Is this better? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. uh, so stand-up comedy is my newest job and I'm taking it really seriously. Um, it's harder than it looks. Like you just see the tip of the iceberg, me up here talking, but behind the scenes, it's eating a lot of mushrooms and smoking a fucking ton of weed <laughs> until funny just pours out of my head and then I write some of it down and then I end up with a five minute dick joke that I'm not so sure about. So <laughs> here, here, here. Uh, and you know, I do want to say that this is on YouTube, which is forever. It's like the herpes or a neck tattoo of the internet. Uh, I don't even know if I'm being offensive right now, because I'm probably like 2020 cool, but when someone watches this 10 years from now, it's going to be, he said fucking ladies and gentlemen, binary pronouns? I, I, I don't even, yeah, like, I, there are landmines I don't even know about. And at the very least, let these people on in. <laughs> hey, they're here. Everybody, they're here. At the very least, if I don't offend anybody, 20 years from now, no matter how cool you think you look, you look stupid. I, I, uh, right now, this is windbreaker and blown out hairsprayed hair. Like, I have no idea what we're going to look like 20 years from now, but I'm going to be talking shit on me in this video. <laughs> and also, are my, so are my fucking kids. I haven't even met them yet, those little punks. I'm going to be laughing at me, Dad, can't believe you even went out in public. Went out there. That's so embarrassing. Dad, you're grounded. Me from the past, grounding you 20 years from now. Go to your room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful who you're gonna offend these days. Monterey, uh, their motto is grab life by the moments. So it's a little too 80s. Uh, back when anything fly, they're like, hey, we're a famous city. You can just walk up and grab their moments. Like, but now, they, they, you know, it should be like, make sure those moments want to be grabbed and then treat them with fucking respect, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so do you ever just, if somebody shows you a picture on their phone, just start scrolling? Just to, watch, just to watch them get uncomfortable. Just take a step back so you're further than arm's reach. And like, everybody's got shit on their phone. They don't want you to see it. That's what phones are for. It's your phone. But, uh, you know, dick pics are a phenomenon where a bunch of smart people got together so that a bunch of dummies can take pictures of their dicks all the time. And I gotta tell you, it's making me a better photographer. <laughs> it, it, it really is. Like, if you asked me to take a picture of you right now, if you handed me your phone and said, hey, can you take a group picture? I'd go, quick, done. At one take, probably cut the forehead off or something. I'd somehow get two out of three of you to blink while I take the picture. If my girlfriend asked me for a dick picture, she would get the 38th take. I'd be in a different room. Like, I'm, 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 I'm adjusting the lighting. I know the angle. Every guy knows the angle. I, you know, I, I just, so when someone hands you their phone, just dick pic rules. Make them look tall. Make them look impressive. Not too girthy. Um, yeah, so dating, uh, dating a girl, kind of dating a hippie. And uh, it's nice. Cause like, you know, sometimes you want to know the healing powers of different rocks and it gets around. It knows what agate does. Well, I never knew what agate did. And uh, you know, uh, there's always coconut oil around there. I didn't know coconut oil did all that shit. Uh, if you could put coconut oil on or in you, it happens at our house. We smell like sunscreen all the time. Um, yeah, you know, and I'm like getting older, I feel like my biological clock is ticking a little bit. 
Um, I've already started to produce dad jokes. And, you know, at 31, I feel like I identify as an older man, but apparently you can't identify as 65 to start getting Social Security. I don't allow that shit. Uh, it's discrimination. I'm an old man in a young man's body. Give me my money. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I'm starting to do some old man things. Like, you know how uh, some people have FOMO, the fear of missing out? I got fogu. I got fear of getting up. I'm like, in my house, if someone knocks at the door, it's a come in. And if you don't know me well enough to walk into my house, uh, sorry. That's, that's that. Um, all right. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Anybody, anybody planning on blacking out tonight? Yeah, fuck yeah, we got a couple. Hell yeah, that's people managing their calendar well. Because every once in a while it happens. If you don't plan on it, it sideswipes you. So you gotta, you gotta know when you're gonna black out. And you know, blacking out kinda sucks, but blacking in, that's fun. That's like, you know, blacking in is when you start coming together at the end of the night, you stayed up long enough that you weathered the storm and memories start happening again in real time and you've got to figure out, how the fuck did I get here? I, I, uh, I blacked in a couple weeks ago and I was in an escape room. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, oh fuck, like, I gotta solve all of this guy's riddles and answer his questions to get out of this room. And after another half hour or so, I realized that that was the manager of the Olive Garden I was in telling me I couldn't walk through the kitchen to see where breadsticks come from. And, you know, so, yeah, crazy shit happens. I got out, and, and here I am, and I love you all, and that's all of my jokes. <laughs>